Okay, today we're going to talk about the Python 3 oct or octal built-in function. Let's start by looking at the octal table. Uh, so this is the octal uh, numeral system. You'll see that it uses digits 0 through 7, and it's called the base 8 number system. So it goes through 0 through 7, then starts up again at 10, goes through 17, uh, then skips to 20, etc. So let's open the shell and run oct on a bunch of numbers. Um, you'll see that the oct returns uh, basically what we saw in the numeral table where 8 is 10, etc. Um, you'll see that it's prefixed with a 0 and then an O. That second character there is the O basically for octal. Um, we can pass negative numbers to it as well but we cannot pass floating point numbers of any kind. Uh, we cannot pass uh, lists or, or pretty much anything else. All we can pass is integers. Uh, there are a couple exceptions to this, however. The big exception is we can uh, use binary or hex numbers. So, you know, the bin one is zero B one and we can pass that to uh, to the oct and we get the the same result that 001 that we saw before um, we could we could do the hex as well return the 0x1 and we can pass that to oct um, so oct hex and bin are all kind of interchangeable to some extent another hack i want to show you guys is with the format function um, so say we have a number like eight um, we can use this O argument and get to the same result as if we, uh, as if we had just used oct. Um, we can also pass a hash to it as well if we want that zero O prefix in front or without the hash to just get uh, the number without a prefix.